Hey everybody, how is it going today? In this video, I want to go over a TOSA Therapeutic Sticker Symbol ATOS. There looks to be a pretty decent trade setting up in this one, so I want to go over their chart. And then after that, I want to get into some of your questions. Now, if you're new to my channel, I have been trading and investing for over 20 years, and in each video, I will show you trades that I see setting up right now. So if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing so you don't miss any future trading and investing ideas. And also, if you would like to support the channel and become part of our Patreon community and see what we are buying and selling in real time for a measly $10 a month, that link is in the description. All right, let's get into this daily chart of a TOSA Therapeutic sticker symbol ATOS. But before I get started, if you could do me a small favor and like the smash button for putting all this together for you, myself and a TOSA Therapeutics would greatly appreciate it. But please remember, I'm not a financial advisor. All of this is just my opinion. I'm just trying to show you what I see happening in the charts and what I'm looking for to happen next. But with all that being said, let's get into this chart. And if we, as we can see, this current price action, price has fallen from almost $10 a share all the way down to about $5.20 a share or so. And that represents about a 47% haircut in the stock, which is Oh, so close to that 50% retracement level, which is a very bullish sign for carving out a bottom. And if we zoom in a little bit closer, we can see um, that's exactly what is happening. It's been going sideways for about three, three and a half days. And when I see a uh, consolidation like this, what I like to do is go intraday and look for reasons why it's finding support at this level. So if I go to the hourly chart first, um, we can see it is finding support at that 200 period simple moving average uh, on the hourly time frame, this yellow line on the chart. So that has stopped this downtrend in its tracks and it's trying to move sideways and carve out a bottom. Now, in my last video, I talked about I would be really interested in buying some stock right around $4.85 or so it looks like the the support areas are around 480 to just under five dollars a share so that seemed like the strongest area of support on the chart but it looks like it's finding support before that now my best case scenario would be is if this stock had a fast move down into the support area and then bounced right back up into this recent consolidation that it's making i think if it can do that that will be that false breakdown and then a uh, fast reversal back up that I like to see in these trends um, so they can carve out a bottom, you know, round up and then start that next move up. So I think it's about halfway there. That's what I'm looking for in Atosa Therapeutics. And actually, let me get these off the chart real quick and let's go a little bit uh, closer intraday. Now, if we go to the 15 minute chart. Um, we can take a little bit of a closer look at this downtrend. And in my last video, I talked about how it was making this uh, head and shoulders pattern. And that's why I was thinking we're going to have a little bit more of a breakdown in price, which we are getting, but it hasn't quite broken down to that area that I was hoping for. Um, I think if it does, this is going to represent a pretty decent area for me to start a position. I think what I plan on doing is having a buy order around $4.80 or so for a very small position. And if it bounces up quickly and gets back into this area, I'm probably going to add a little bit more. And then if we get a breakout above this consolidation area, I think I'm going to add again. So actually, if we go back to this previous run up, I'll show you a little bit more of what I am talking about. Let me get this crap off the screen. Let's go back in time just a little bit here. But as we can see back then, it also made a head and shoulders formation. This one was a little bit more compact, but you could definitely see the head and shoulders formation that formed and then the subsequent move down. Now, this one had a sharp move down pretty early in the uh, consolidation that it made at this lower level. And actually, let me move forward just a little bit more but had a sharp move up back into this consolidation range and then started to consolidate at these higher levels. And once you start seeing this, um, you better start getting ready for the potential breakout because once it starts consolidating in a tight manner, towards the top of the consolidation the breakout could be imminent and if we go forward a little bit more we can definitely see that breakout and then it was off to the races for that next move now 
I'm not saying if it makes this pattern, we're definitely going to be blasting through to a new high. If I do end up uh, taking some uh, a pretty decent sized position in this, I will welcome that move for sure. But after two big moves up like this, it's usually kind of rare to see a third one that takes out the previous two highs. But it certainly could happen because this has been a fast mover. And of course, biotech stocks, I mean, they are known for just going on big runs. So that is what I am looking for in Atosa Therapeutics. I think if we can get a little bit of a breakdown into this area, then a move back up into this consolidation and then get into a little bit of a tighter range and then break above this consolidation high right around, we'll call it, let's call it right around $6.10. If it gets a breakout above that, I think we could be off to the races, and that's what I am hoping for in Atosa Therapeutics. All right, the first one I want to get into is Excella Technologies Incorporated. Um, I had a few comments about this one when I was on vacation. I actually just got back, and it looks like I missed out on a pretty good trade. Um, we can see that Excella Technologies exploded higher and then pulled back into that eight period exponential moving average and then just continued its uptrend. So, a big move from right around 190 or so up to about 350 right now. And man, look how much volume has been pouring into this stock uh, before the stock exploded. On this day right here, we're looking at 3.3 million shares traded. The day before that, 1.2 million shares traded. And on the first big up day, 390 million shares traded. So volume is just pouring into the stock. You can see it is just continuing to funnel in to Accelerate Technologies. And even on these two down days, volume contracted considerably. And then you had that nice counter move up. Now, with all this volume that's pouring into this stock, um, that's telling me that the up move is probably not over and I want to get involved into it, but I do not want to chase stocks. More often than not, when I chase stocks, I end up being the last guy at the party and I almost always get stopped out. So I'll be looking for a uh, pullback in this stock. Let's go to the 15 minute chart and find the strongest support area. Now, if I back it out a little bit, we can see we are in a well-defined uh, up channel right now. Let me draw it real quick. So I don't want to get involved until it breaks this up channel and comes back to a support area. And the strongest area of support that I am seeing on this chart right now is right around $2.70 to $2.80. So this would be the area that I would be most comfortable entering this stock. I know um, sometimes when these stocks start taking off like this, it can go from $3 to $10 in the blink of an eye. But you got to realize that those explosive trades are few and far between unless you know something that everybody else doesn't know um, chances are you are entering a trade that has a pretty low probability of you know exploding your your at least in my experience um, I like to wait for the pullbacks instead it gives me a higher probability of catching that next move up um, actually let's get out of here for a second go back to the daily chart there's something I wanted to show you real quick before we jumped on um, in that previous chart that I was showing you on uh, Atosa Therapeutics, we can see that uh, Excella Technologies was making a really, rather similar uh, pattern right here. Had a nice three-day consolidation. I don't know if we can see that on the chart very well. Um, after this run up, see, this is why you don't want to just enter on these little consolidations. You want to wait for them to prove themselves, break above that consolidation, and start that next move up. Because just because it starts to consolidate doesn't mean it can't just turn right back around and start heading down. And that's exactly what happened with this one broke down and then it took several months for it to carve out another bottom before it took off again and you know you know you're not even guaranteed the stock is going to take off again in the first place that's why once you start seeing these consolidations this is just step one then you want to see it uh, kind of move sideways a little bit more and then break above that consolidation and then you have a better chance of it taking off all right, let's get into the next question. That was from Jared Cantlin. He was asking about Nat. He's been in Nordic American tankers for a long, long time. This stock was, uh, of course, super red hot when the oil contract went negative last year, but has since been just kind of meandering around. There's been a couple times where I thought this stock was going to break out and it just you know, turned right back around. Just a couple of months ago, I talked about it. 
I think in late May, uh, when it was breaking above this 200 period simple moving average and looked like it was probably going to be breaking this downtrend channel, but uh, it did not do that. It reversed and now it is um, threatening the lower boundaries of this triangle consolidation right around $3 a share. So I think it's at a make or break point right now. Um, this one is a little disappointing, I think. A lot of the reason why this is continuing to move lower, um, I think a lot of people dived into this one when they started cranking that dividend up, but they have since uh, lowered it a little bit, and um, you know the yield on it isn't as attractive as it used to be. So I think a lot of those uh, yield hog uh, investors are uh, starting to you know move out of this one uh, slowly and just find better uh, dividend opportunities, and who knows how long that's going to take to play out. But it seems like uh, from a technical perspective, Nordic American Tankers is right at the bottom of that channel. So actually, this is when you want to start accumulating it. Hopefully, it bounces for you. Um, I think usually when a stock is in this point of the chart where you just want to give up, that's usually the, the, the time when you want to be adding a little bit more. Because in my experience... You know, when I've just been sickened by a stock for too long and I just throw in the towel, I will check it like a month later and invariably it's always higher from where I sold it. So take that for what it's worth. I'm not saying buy some right now, but um, if you're sickened in about this stock like I think you are, um, you might want to give it just a little bit more time because uh, nothing's worse than being sickened to death by a stock and then checking it a month later and it's actually higher where you threw in the towel. Okay, everyone, that is all I have for this video, so I'm going to end it right there. But if you have any questions or comments on any of these stocks, or if you have any other ones you want me to take a look at, please leave it down there in the comments section. I will get to them as soon as I can. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching my video all the way to the end. And until next time, take care, everybody.